Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to a brand new series that is going to be on the channel and it is none other than flying over to Italy and spending some time in a club that I absolutely love and I love the kits as well and we are spending our time in the wonderful world of Napoli. As you can see behind us right now is the wonderful club of Napoli and this is a real good side. Just look, they have Armani as their kits. Armani is the design kits. You can't beat that but they do have some absolute wonderful players in that team as well which we're going to get into a bit later but they do want some domestic success and that is what we're going to offer to that club as well we are going to try and win the Serie A with this club and it's probably going to be a one season thing because I really think they've got what it takes to win this league as you can see right here guys I'm just going to show everything what we're going to be doing we're going to be on ultimate five minute matches stealing because people in English strict negotiations international dub disabled i don't want any of that stuff i don't want to negotiate we're only doing napoli the first transfer window is enabled so it will only be realistic signings if we are going to sign anyone but that is what we're going to do and we're going to get straight into the team just looking at what they want domestically so they want us to reach the squad finals of the Coppa italia win well, win Champions League places for the Serie A and also within two seasons in the Serie A, win the title. So they want us to pretty much win the league uh, ASAP. We're going to try and do that with this team. I feel like, like I say, we can do this. We have 48 million in the bank. We've got to have a look at the team first before we decide that we want to go and throw ourselves into there. So the goalkeepers are Ospina and Meret. Both fantastic goalkeepers. Ospina is very, very experienced. So known for playing for Arsenal. A very, very good goalkeeper. Merit is a young lad that's come through the rankings in Italy. A steady goalkeeper. And like I say, he is very good at what he does. I'm happy to have him a part of the team. Mario Ruo and Gulam are the two left backs. Another good set of full backs there. Very pacey. Very agile and can get a ball in as well as putting a good tackle in. I am very excited to use them too. Then we have our centre-offs. None other than Mr. Koulibaly. One of the best or most well-known centre-offs in the wonderful world of football. So he will be absolutely, like it says there, crucial for us. We do have Juan Jesus, who is a very good centre-off. Very pacey centre-off. And also can put a tackle in as well. But we do have uh, Twanesby as well who is from Manchester United. So we can definitely use this guy and bring him in, see what he can do. And also we have Ramani as well, a Kosovo centre-off, very aggressive, tall, bit of a statue kind of player. So them two, can, well, them three there are going to be all moving around Koulibaly and try and get into the team. Then we go to our right back and we have two fantastic right backs as Di Lorenzo, who is a once again, a very quick and nimble winger well, wing back that can get the ball in the box and also put a mean tackle in as well and get back. And then we have Malcuit, who is a French right back. He's 29 years old. Another very pacey. Like this team, I'm going to say before anything, is very, very pace worthy team. So you're going to see a lot of attacking movements and fast build up play from this team. Then we go into the midfield. And we have plenty of good ones in here. Labotka is a great midfielder. Spent some time at Salta Vigo. If you've seen him in the La Liga, you would have seen him there. A good spread of the ball. Can put the tackle in. Won't be as fast as all the other players, but he is a very talented player. We have Dame as well. Not really seen much of him, so I can't really comment on how good he is. He is rotation in the team, but we'll take that as well. We have uh, Zambu Angusa. I hope I said that right. He is on loan from Fulham, which is an interesting one. Seems like Fulham are in the Championship. Maybe they're just waiting for him to bounce back into the Premiership. But we'll probably give him some rotation. But our two main players in the middle are going to be Fabian and Zielinski. Two unbelievable players. I don't know how to describe them. They're like a, a creative, creative flowness in the side. They're not the fastest, but they know how to pass the ball. And they will be our distributors of the ball, spreading it far, wide, and everywhere. And who are they going to be aiming that ball to? These absolute buttes that are going to be Insigne, Lozano, and Martinez. You put them three into a team, and this is going to be danger. And I cannot wait to use these guys, because these are what are going to make this team just tick. They are unbelievable. Insigne, absolute rapid, can cut in on his right, can play the ball with his left. He is nimble, he is agile, his agility is electric. This guy is going to be phenomenal. Same with Lozano, absolutely great player that they got from Mexico. 
Pace down the right hand side. Cutting uses left foot. He's going to be deadly. And then we have Mertens. Absolute football genius on the ball. We can play him in the center. We can play him elsewhere. He is going to be crucial for this side. And he looks like he's going to be a handful. And then up front, who are we going to go with? None other than Victor Oshiman. The absolute speed demon from Nigeria. He's going to be unbelievable with this side and the creative players that we've got all around us he is going to be our deadly force up top and if needs to be we can bring Patanga on who has got great heading more physical range and we need to change it up and mix it up or go to that two up top we've got a target man with a fast pacing man this team has got so much potential and so much danger I can't wait just to use it. So let's make a tactic, make a formation. This is what I'm kind of looking at. I've had a little play around and I think this is going to be the best that we can get. It's going to be a 4-2-3-1. We're going to be playing three cams in the center there. Insignate, Mertens, Lozano. I'm going to push Insignate and Lozano a little bit further out so we can get a bit of depth off them and width. And then what we're going to do is use Mertens and Oshiman to be the creators in the center. And then Fabian and Zielinski just behind them, just spreading that ball, playing them into play. This could be absolutely deadly. So what I'm looking at here is potentially a new left back. A new left back and he's, I'm thinking center off because of the rating is where it's like, whoa, this needs changing. And potentially a goalkeeper, but... I'm happy to stick with them for the time being and maybe look in January to see what we are doing. But definitely my first up by is going to be a left back. First bit of business is going to be a potential backup. Not well, backup to not backup. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But if there's an injury and rotation, we're going to try and bring in Campana. And he looks a very solid player. He is from Levante. So I think we could get him. And it's really a realistic one because Levante are not really in European football or anything like that. So for me, 24 million. We're going to try and bring him in. See what we get. There we go. That is a first one in. And we're going to now try and bring in a left back, which is going to be Philip Max. Just in case you are not aware, it doesn't show it on here. It doesn't. He has got a release clause for 16 million. So that would then put us up to 40 million spending wise. And as you can see in our transfer budget, 48 million pounds. So for me, two good signings. Strengthens the squad up as well. Let's try and get him in and and confirm their dealings right let's get Campana in here let's see what business we can do see what price we can give him and see if he's asking for a certain amount of money right so first things first he wants to be important yeah except that he, we'll, we'll just give him that and then just rotate him around that's fine by me then we're going to give him a three-year contract he is 28 so 31 in the midfield i think that's absolutely perfect he would do that anyway so for me we can do that let's accept that and then he wants 49,000. We have 309 in the bank. So we have 49,000 with a signing on bonus of 490k. And then when he gets 20 goals, he gets 1.65 million. He won't get 20 goals. Let's accept that in and lock him in. Next on the list is Mr. Max. We're actually taking Max out for dinner instead of coming to the office. I think we want Max a little bit more than we do Campana. So let's try and... Give him what he needs and give him what he wants and try to get Max in. His current wage is 15,000. That's really good for us because we know we can offer a little bit more than that. So we're going to give him important to make him feel like he's wanted part of the team. And then we're going to give him a, he is 27. So we'll give him a three-year contract. Leaves until he's 30. As long as he keeps his physical state there, he is absolutely fine with that. No release cause. That's fine. We're in Italy. We don't need to deal with that. Only Spain, we need to deal with that. And then he wants 37,000 with 330,000 sign on fee and five clean sheets gives him a quarter of a million. Welcome to the team, Max. You are welcomed with open arms. Let's go. Two brilliant signings there. I am very happy with that. Max and Campana into the team. Strengthens us up. We're ready for the season, I think. Are you ready to start? And who else do we start against other than Juventus? What a fantastic game we are in for today. So first game of the season, Juventus. Let's have a look at the squadron for you so you can see it. You can't see it because my head is in the way. But over on the right-hand side is Di Lazaro and Ramani. So they are our centre off and right back. And then you've got Koulibaly, Max is in there, Zielinski, Fabian. Insignate, Mertens, Lozano, and Oshiman. And then on the bench, we do have Campana as well. So if we need to bring it one off, we can bring one off and bring him on there. Okay, let's start off this campaign with a big win. And a big win against Juventus would be absolutely fantastic. Italy is like one of my favorite leagues to ever. There's a summit as I grew up watching football Italiano. 
on Channel 4. It just brings back so many memories. And ever since then, I have absolutely loved Italian football. And I still do to this day. And Juan Luigi Buffon is my idol when it comes to football. So this one's going to be a little bit special for me because, I, like I say, Italian football, Serie A, it's just where I am and what I love. So let's do as a solid show that my knowledge and love for this league is good and we're going to try and win the Serie A with Napoli. And we're not going to do it by that as uh, Insigne loses the ball out there, leaving Juventus a chance to break now. Palovic comes through. A great ball. Oh, my days. Where's my team? Chiesa. Oh, it's 1-0 Juventus. It's not a good start as I'm there praising what I know about the Serie A. And for some reason, my players just switched off and Chiesa just smashes the ball on the back of the net for 1-0. It's going to be a big ask. This is for sure now against Juventus as they look to push on and build the lead up even further as this is from kickoff they have just won the ball back but we do get back from insigne there fantastic play opening the game up for us oh it's raviot just nicks that ball off him takes it easy as Dybala tries a few step overs we do win the ball but it goes straight back to him as we win it again straight back to him and there's mertens putting a shift in and doing the defensive duties for us as we're going to push forward now two players making fantastic runs we do see Oshiman. one more ball oh it was too easily read by Delit, and we don't get away with that but a pad pass in the center there comes across as we find Oshiman. cuts back Oshiman with a great touch Oshiman. oh wide of the post it's a great touch turn but the finish just wasn't there and it was a great effort but grazed past the post unfortunately for us Juventus push forward now, Dybala on this left side, but Max is there showing why he is our left back right now. A fantastic play as they get the ball through again. Dybala is going to push forward. Somehow win, won that header there. Good play though. Max again, fantastic play from Max there showing why he is part of this team. As we push forward, try, oh, we try to get the ball through to Oshiman. Unfortunately, it's a good interception, which is going to cause an attack, but Zielinski... Wins the ball. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Dodginess from Italy. We know what they're like. We know what they're like. Any corruption? Oh, good save from Ospina there. Parrying it out. And it's going to be a corner for Juventus. I, I don't know what's just happened there, but Chiesa has just sent my player for an absolute hot dog. As the ball bounces through, I don't even know what's happened. I hope you could hear me spamming the B button to get the ball cleared. But it just falls for Valavik, and he just pushes it into the back of the net. Ospin and no chance. But we just couldn't get the cleared lines. The ball just bouncing around everywhere. We do try and swipe the ball, but it's a missed kick. And Juventus double their lead right now. And this is not the start we were hoping for in the Serie A. As we push forward, still though, Luzano... Plays it in to Mertens. He's going to need some help here. And that is just the most horrendous pass I think I've ever witnessed in a game of football. As we do get the ball back, though. Going to break. Zielinski's there. He has a strike, but somehow... De Delit sees the ball through Oshiman, who was blocking him out, and gets the block off. And that is not good for us as Diabola now runs down. Feels like we just can't catch him. He's just too fast for us. But there is Max getting the interception. As we look to break now even further. There's a great ball there. Can we push forward with the men? We know they are fast. And we know we, we can get the ball through to him. As the ball gets recycled into. Oh, it's a great goal. Sorry, I wasn't talking then. But the ball lays it into Martins. And then Lozano is just free. And he just chips it over the goalkeeper to get one goal back for us. And that is absolutely beautiful on the stroke. Well, it's not the stroke on 37 minutes in. We just showed there how fast this team is and how deadly we can be on the counter-attack. We have absolute lightning fast players and we know how to use that and try and capitalize on any counter-attacking football. I'd take a deep breath then because I didn't know what the goalkeeper was planning on doing. We're going to pass and move now. As that is great play. One more to Mertens. Oshiman is making the run in the box. We're going to dink it in. Oshiman. Oh, he's missed the header. It's straight at Chesney. That was a massive chance, but a good header from Koulibaly. Oh, it's only over our play and we can't get it in. We've had a big chance there to double our goal tally and make it 2-2. There's good pressure from Oshiman there. Locatelli brings it out, plays it to Arthur. Good play to Valerik. Great pass to 
Diabole. We can't keep it in, thankfully. Can we get one more chance in an attack here? Max throws it in. Plays it to Fabian. No, we don't have chance. It is 2-1 at the half time. We have proven our pace is going to be crucial for our team, especially on our counter-attacking. But we need to strengthen up that defense a little bit more and stop Juventus attacking us. Juventus push forward from this kickoff right now. And they are passing so, so well. We do get an interception there, though. Lozano's well, going to bring it forward. It's a great ball. We see Insigne making a run, but it's a great block from Raviot. We took way too much time there. And Raviot just closed us down and just picked it out. is now going to break. Plays it back to Jose Gea. Ball gets played to Locatelli, to Raviot. It's a great interception there from Ramini. Good play again. Oh, it's bad. That's unfortunate for us. He gets the ball, but he just locks out. As the goalkeeper's going to pick it up. And Ospina, great play. Great bravery as well in that middle there. Winning the ball back for us. We push forward with Lozano. Going to use his pace. Cut back. Oh, what the hell? His touch was so bad. Pick it up in the middle. Fabian plays it out wide. Finding Insigne. Good pass and movement here from the team. Dialinski gets it. Finds Lozano. Plays a ball in. That's a great ball in. Keeper's going to claim it, though. Oh, it was a great run as well. And a great ball. Lozano with a sensible header, though. Finds Insigne. He's going to hit it. Oh, it's a poor shot. A very poor shot. Blocked easily as well from the Juventus defence. A good interception in the middle now. We're going to break as we break through with Mertens. Insigne, using his pace, is going to bounce straight past the players. Oh, but he just read so well by De Litt and just cut out anything that we needed as Dybala pushes on the right-hand side for them. Oshiman is through. Oshiman is through. Oh, it's just too heavy from Lozano. Oshiman pushes forward. Can't get on the ball. Szczesny with a big clearance up top. Can we get a winner? We can. Zielinski. We need the seconds. Back to Mertens. Lovely play. Fabian here. Spreads it out wide. Oh, it's a great interception from Jose Gea. Oh, good play. Just like on the edge of our toes, we're not getting the ball. Intricate passing yet again from this team. Every time we play a decent side that can pass the ball, they just absolutely outperform us. Kies is going to push forward on the left. I don't know what's just happened there. Ball comes in and Kolobali clears it out wide. We've only got 20 minutes left in this game to try and get an equaliser. Valakovic comes off and I think that was Morata coming on. That is going to be a bit of a danger scare for us. As we try to get the ball away, and it's straight through another header in the box. Just foul straight to Locatelli. It's so poor from us. Like, corners, we just can't deal with the situation. The ball always lands to one of their plays, and they just rifle it in the back of the net. I'm pretty much going to say that's our hopes and dreams of a draw smashed away as... Unfortunately, time is going to be ticking down on us, and we need two goals now. It's hard enough to get one, so never mind try and get two. A pass just so easily read from the opposition. It's a little bit of a poor one from us, and the fact that it's two headers that have been foul bound and just foul straight into the box to the opposition, it can't be helped, unfortunately. But it's a solid performance again as Oshiman makes a great run through. He's going to try and rifle it in. Oh, he's at the bar. And when situations like that come, and we hit the bar. It's written on the cards that this one is not going to be a draw or a win for us. As they push forward now and Max is there. Max has been had a real good one. I'm not going to fault Max at all. He's had a real good game on behalf of Napoli. So we can't fault that. As we try to push forward again. We've got a few players coming forward. Going back to the goalkeeper. They just keep the ball. Absolutely like you would. Time wastes. Because that's all you got to do. As we try and win the header there. Can we get the seconds? We do. Oshiman making a run through. On his left, can he hit it? Oh, it's a good block. As we still have it from Mertens, finds Lozano. Fabian's in the box. Good strike, another good block. Four falls, though. Insigne's there. Oh, Raviot with a great clearance. Insigne's going to try and win this edit. It's going to be a bit of a tough one. <laughs> De Siglio just puts him on his backside, showing his strength is not very tough there. Lozano through. Mertens strikes another block in the box from the Juventus. They are just lining up to block the ball. They don't even need a goalkeeper at this stage. It's too much for us. And they just block every single shot that has been thrown at them. Dying seconds of the game and a corner is going to be thrown in the box. And I think as soon as that comes in and we get it cleared, the referee is going to blow for the full-time whistle and end it. And 3-1 defeat in our first game of the season. Not the best, but we did play the best team in Italy. We've got to work on a few things. We know that it's a brand new team for us as well and brand new signings. So I know where we're going wrong and what we're to do. I feel confident that we're still going to develop and deliver in this series. So let's see how we go with the next one. 
Genoa are next. They won their game, apparently. So they are going to be a little bit up for it and informed. But we are at home. It's only the second game of the season. So we can't really do any judging of that. We're going to stick with the same team and go straight into it. Because they did play well against Juventus. I'm not going to lie. They just made some funky mistakes. So let's see if we can get a win against Genoa and carry on. And build on that and get momentum for three points. We get a 2-1 win. That is good for us. As McLaren comes straight out the blocks, gain a one-goal lead in the first minute. But in the 23rd, we get one back with Insigne. And Mertens coming in clutch in the 89th minute, giving us a 2-1 victory over Genoa. I knew we felt like we were going to win that one. So that is a good start. We've lost one. We've won one. We'll take that. And that is going to be the end of the first episode of our Napoli career. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you look forward to this one, guys. If you did, leave a like, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you reckon the signings were good enough for this team, and you reckon we're going to push for that title. You let me know. Guys, if you do want to see more content from me, you can see me over on Twitch, www.twitch.tv, forward slash tick147, where I'm live pretty much every single day, except for Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you want to see more content, there will be some more YouTube stuff up above me where you'll see the Aston Villa career mode where we're going strong on there. But guys, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.